Hello, welcome to my channel. On this video, I'm going to wrap the center console with vinyl cover. And the first video related to the center console, you saw me cutting everything at a strap. And I put all those uh, wood uh, pieces of wood together. That is a long process. But here I am now. It's time to cover with vinyl. And always, always, um, I suggested to put like a padding on top can be one a or uh, one quarter or half inch uh, font just for padding that way when the customer touch it when you touch it you don't feel the wood directly now have to be soft that part so uh to put the phone i had to put glue on all that wood on top only and i will do the same thing with the uh, phone put glue on both sides the wood in the phone and all depend on the side that you're going to do that's how much uh, phone you will add it so uh, something very important right here make sure when you put in that phone on top uh, no wrinkle it has to be plain in case if you see any wrinkle or any bump, try to get rid of it. Because it is not good. First of all, might be able to show it on top of the vinyl or on the new upholstery. And you don't want that to happen. So I pull this uh, headliner and make it as small as possible. See right there? It has to be plain. It's nothing about wrinkle right there so I put that uh, phone already now I have to trim all around to trim all around you can use a utility knife or you can do it with your scissor your scissor to do this has to be so sharp cut it all around if you want to leave like one inch extra that's fine I am cutting them all around exactly on that edge. And I got it right there. So this is half phone already. So now I have to make those holes. Because this in the console, if you use, uh, so uh, my first video related, I made also holes in there because we'll have an accessory. And right there where I'm cutting right now, we'll have like uh, the charger and we'll have uh, two USB port. And there is, so and there will be this, the stereo. The phone around that part when I am putting the stereo, I cut it exactly to the wood. I didn't give nothing extra. On the rest of that hole, I give like one quarter all around extra on the phone but right there if I give like extra that stereo I uh, won't go in so that wood is exactly I give it ex the exact amount extra only for the vinyl not for the headliner so right now I am dropping a line right there make sure if you are doing something like that make sure to do it what is that line for well I will cut the, this uh, center console on three pieces and those lines are uh, those marks are for where I'm going to trace the new piece. I'm going to put a little bit of glue just to hold this uh, material. I don't want it to move during the uh, tracing process. And I put glue and I just made sure to put all those two pieces together. In that way, uh, it's not going to move. Now I can start uh, tracing. How do you know where do you have to... Uh, uh, put a stitch 
Well, it's obviously when you are putting a, a vinyl, like on this case, you know the vinyl fit exactly on the plane. It just has extra, so I will trim the vinyl. I will cut it because if I try to fold it, it's not going to look good. So it's not going to look good only if I fold it. So that means I have to add another piece on the side to make it look good, and that means I have to put a stitch to in order to hold those uh, pieces together. So I am tracing exactly on top of the mark that is under, or oh, 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 let's put it this way, I am tracing on that uh, angle, wood angle, I am tracing them exactly on there. So I got them already, I have to uh, cut it, then I will give like extra for the seams allowance, make sure to do that. If you used to take in like half inch or one quarter or three quarter when you are sewing those pieces, that's the amount that you will have to give it. I only give it like half inch extra for the seam because I get used to do it that way. When I am sewing together, I will take that half inch that I give extra. If I give like half inch and I don't take in like half inch, that cover might be big will be loose and i don't want that i want this cover tight so that's what i have to give it like exactly half inch and taking half inch so i cut that top panel already and now i will cut the side and i will do the same thing tracing And during this process, make sure to uh, hold that piece because you don't want that piece to move. In case if it move, move my uh, lie. So, and I will cut that because uh, the left and right piece panel are, are the same. I will cut uh, both at the same time and I will just will give the for the same allowance. And I got uh, all those uh, pieces together. Now it's time to take it to a sewing machine and sewing. Before you go into uh, use the sewing machine and, and, and any material, if you haven't replaced the thread, make sure to check it because you don't want uh, to skip or to uh, fail in the middle of the scenes. You see me right there? He have a black material uh, under the foot press. So because I already replaced the thread and I already check it. So now I'm going to put this piece. Remember, you put mark, you put notches, and make sure those notches ma match each other. In case if it doesn't match, uh, that means something is not right. If it is not, uh, if it is like half inch, if that's too much. But if it is like less than one a. Um, Pull a little bit, or any whatever piece is short, but it has to match. You see right there on the corner, those two notches are matching. So that's what I want. I am a hundred percent sure that I am sewing this piece together, uh, putting these two pieces together, right. So I got one, and I have to do the same thing with the other one. And the process for the other one is the same. I'm not going to show you, but I just let you know it will be the same. Just give you an idea how did I did it with the last one. You can start it for this way, you can start it for the other way, the way that I have it before. See, I'm putting one mark on top of the other one, and it has to be like that. It has to be like that. In case if it is hard for you, put some. Um, a staple, like a dose from a uh, office staple, just those one, just to hold those pieces until you sew it together. Now I am putting a top stitch sometime 
uh, console have the stitch on the side the top stitch on the side and some of them have fringe stitch but this one only have a top stitch that's what the customer want I am putting the top stitch on the top panel sometimes it can be on the side but uh, like the way I see when it's a top stitch look better on the top piece as you see right there in that top stitch you have to be a straight straight make sure to put them straight because if it's not a straight it might look weird it might look like a, that stitch is not right and believe me everything can be perfect on that center console but if it, the stitch is not a straight that will look uh, the rest of the center console look ugly that's why I say spend time practice it before you put the top stitch in case if you don't have experience before you go into put a top stitch make sure to practice you see I am pulling those material I'm pulling right and I'm pulling left because I want that top stitch to come in nice otherwise it might look uh, like they're like with the big bomb if you don't pull it those um, pieces so I got that cover sewing together so now it is time to mount and discover I only put glue on that part of the center console and I will do the same thing on the, the cover I don't want nothing on the center console to have glue just that part when you are pulling the cover you might see it look like weird like if it's, it's not gonna fix but remember if you cut them exactly and you give like half inch extra and you're taking that half inch during the sewing process the cover must fit spend time put them on the right place and then start putting a staple if you go with a staple but if you prefer using like glue uh, the result will be the same the only difference uh, will be the cover is on with the staple and the cover is on with glue or any way you prefer I'm going to use a staple gun because I prefer putting this cover with the staple and the staple that I will use is 3A and I will use maybe one quarter two both of them work fine on this uh, console and I will pull it and some of those staples might be removed later this is just to put the cover and see if it is on the basin rice in case if it doesn't have a wrinkle you can put a heat gun or you can put them on the sun because shouldn't be wrinkled at the end should be plain <laughs> that's what I say put the uh, cover uh, placing the cover right any mistake on the installation might create wrinkle see and I am pulling and I pull a staple that's the way should be pulling see which way do I have to pull and put the staple right there on the packing have a lot of wrinkle but nothing on the top nothing uh, where you can see it where you can see it from outside when the core uh, when the center console is on the car should be plain if you see the center console on the car any angle that you see it see it from outside should be plain inside right there behind it doesn't matter it doesn't matter this this uh, center console will have two speaker on the side so I make everything uh, for that I make it bigger big enough to put to cup holder 
big enough to put two USB and a charger for charging the phone and for the stereo and the two sp small speakers so it will have a lot of things in the center console and now I am trimming the vinyl all around and you see it look nice except I have to make some cut in there for the stereo and I am trimming all around I don't want to leave any extra material in there because first of all I know it doesn't see it can be like that but in case if it the customer remove the center console so center console and you see under I don't want to see the apartment there I want to see it nice as possible so now I am putting glue in there I will put a lot of heat in there this binary doesn't stretch that much so I will put in hot air to force it to stretch but when the binary doesn't stretch and you hit it too much that look ugly so don't if the binary doesn't stretch don't put a lot of heat touch it if you see it. so I put in I has to make cut in there I has to cut it that's what I am hitting the vinyl So I will put a mark right here, same right here. That's those marks are the angle of the wood, the edge of the wood. There is the edge. So I don't want to like cut it too much. Just cut it like half inch before that edge. If you cut it bigger, that's not a problem. The problem will be if you cut it less than half inch and those cut when you put the stereo. Um, my see it, my still showing, so you don't want that to happen. So cut it, you see where the edge is, and I don't cut it till the edge, no, I cut it like half inch before. Then I have to force it, I have to heat it, heat the vinyl to force it because I have to mold it to the wood. That's the thing I have to mold it. I have to make that vinyl follow the shape of the wood. And it is not easy because it is a square. If it, that part was like rounded a little bit, it uh, would be easy. It would be piece of cake. But right here you see me here in that vinyl. That's why. And I am cutting a little by little. See how I am, I am spending time right here, try to make this nice as possible. And this kind of thing, it has to be like that because it has to look nice in there at the end if it still look like like with wrinkle on the top I will put a heat gun hot air and I will cut the other hole exactly like this too because you have one one for the stereo one for the compartment there is the other hole I will put the vinyl inside the hole because I don't want the wood to see it. I want to cover the, that part with vinyl too, inside that compartment. But first, um, you see this is a, just a pattern that I cut because I will put a two piece of wood on the side. And I'm going to cut first uh, that piece of wood. This is just to change the way how it look. Like custom. 
that's uh, the this wood is for. And I am cutting. I am using a jigsaw. And I got that wood. And I will cut all around that piece. So I got the wood, uh, the two wood column already. I cut by one. Uh, I cut the two at the same time. Now I am using this light drill. This is for wood. And why I am using this? Because I'm going to put like a plastic clip. And I don't want to see no pump. And I don't want to add like foam. I don't want to add like chipboard on top. That's what I, I am doing this. That's what I am using the drill bit. That real bit is sorry, it's very important and it is cheap. You can buy them on Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight. There are a lot of stuff when you can buy. You see, I am using and I'm going to make a lot of light. Five holes with that real bit. So I done with those holes, making those holes. Now I am sanding those edges. This wood is one quarter thickness. And I want to be like one A done when it's wrapped with vinyl. So that's what I am sanding right there. One quarter is too thick in there, so I want a less. I have to sand it, killing the edge. And I have to do it by hand. Why I'm uh, using my hand instead of sanding with the power tool? Because the, the real, uh, the sand that I have my sander the grips is too rough and I want something smoother right there that's what I'm using a sandpaper right there to make kill all those uh, bump sharp edges on the wood nothing has to show it through the binder nothing at all not even the head or the click you see that click all of that click it has to be like that. And I got it. I got one piece and I'm going to do the same thing with the other piece. So I have both pieces and now I have to wrap it with vinyl. This process is easy because it doesn't have a phone. You just have to put a nut glue on both uh, pieces and start pulling a little bit. Pull it and trim the vinyl, no wrinkle on this uh, piece of wood. Make sure to be flat as possible. In case if there is some wrinkle, make sure to hit it with the hammer because other way those click will go in but you will still see like a gap between that piece of wood and between the center console and you don't want something to something like that to see it so you're gonna hit it with the hammer on the corner making sure and and, and pay attention to those clicks you won't be able to see nothing not even a palm not even a mark so I got it right there I made those hole and you see there is the hole right there hit it hit it with the hammer and nothing about clay you can see it. nothing it's almost done you can see it right there I had to take it well of course I had to put all the accessories everything and take it to the car and then on the car I run the cable for the speaker but that will be the last part related to this video it's almost done how to wrap and how to upholster the center console. In that little piece that I put him on the side, made this uh, look awesome. I will put a little bit heat on the top because I can see some, uh, no wrinkle, but um, the vinyl is, I pulled the vinyl too much on those corners, but I will heat him up a little bit with the 
uh, heat gun and main look that center console look nice at the end. I will put the I'm making the hole for the cup holder. And there is the cup holder. And you see the compartment in there? I put a vinyl in there, I uh, posted that area with vinyl and make it look nice that thing. I will put two screw in case if it's the customer one, I will put two screw in there just to make sure to hold that piece strong. But I prefer asking them first, even like that, it's not gonna, it's, it, the seat will make the center console stay like firm on that area. But in case if it move, that customer uh, uh, might want me to put some screw. But this is done. This is done. I'm going to put them on the car. And let's see how it look. Wow. And it looks nice. You can see them on there. Even my brother had to make the carpet for this car. But this look nice. Look nice. You can see them on there. Wow. I have to hit that click a little bit more right there because I, I still see a seeing the head or the click in there a little bit of the bump on there on the passenger side i just will hit a little bit with the hammer i don't want nothing to show and that clock compartment open and close without a problem man that's awesome so this is all related to this video you see nice i figure it that way wow that piece make it look gray. See it in there? All one color. That is paid for the gas pedal I'm in there. It's in there. This take time, but I didn't look nice. Thank you guys for watching this video. You saw how do I cover? See this stereo have a camera. You can see it on there. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you are considered to subscribe to my channel, well, I am upload a video related to car uh, to car interior so often, and everything related to upholstery can be motorcycle, body interior, furniture. So, feel free to subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.